Smartphone prices are deflating, falling around 22% year-over-year as of last December, according to U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. What does that mean for the coveted microchips that run the things? Welcome to the cyclicality of the semiconductor sector. Investors may have been anticipating the chip shortage we experienced would turn into a glut, selling stocks like Taiwan Semiconductor. But that perceived weakness is also a strength for the company in the consolidating semiconductor sector, where it holds around half of the market share according to TrendForce data. How many companies have the massive resources and time for such a cyclical business? Also, as an independent manufacturer, Taiwan Semiconductor has the option of selling to new customers for lower cost application while they research the next near-exclusive technology. For Morningstar, I'm Andrew Willis.